you start running, so I can stab you in the back. I can take you. Join the Dawn Guard too. Truth is, I, I don't know this. I haven't been anything like this before. I hope you don't mind if I walk up with you. Hey, uh, don't tell Isran I was afraid to meet him by myself. Not the best first impression for a new vampire hunter, I guess. You've probably killed lots of vampires, huh? I'm sure Isran will sign you right up. I'm not sure he'll take me. I hope so. That must be it. Fort Dawn Guard. Wow. Bigger than I expected. Where is everybody? This place looks almost deserted.
guess this is it. Wish me luck. Here to join the Dawn Guard? Good. Isran will decide if you've got what it takes. Go on, he's right inside. Why are you here, Tolan? The Vigilance and I were finished with each other a long time ago. You know why I'm here. The Vigilance are under attack everywhere. The vampires are much more oh. dangerous than we believed. And now you want to come running to safety with the Dawn Guard, is that it? I remember Keeper Cosset telling me repeatedly that Fort Dawnguard is a crumbling ruin, not worth the expense and manpower to repair. And now that you've stirred up the vampires against you, you come begging for my protection. Isra, Carset is dead. The Hall of the Vigilance, everyone, they're all dead. You were right, we were wrong. Isn't that enough for you? I never wanted any of this to happen. I tried to warn all of you. I am... sorry, you know. So who are you? What do you want? Got a fire in your belly to kill vampires, eh? Good for you. But look around. There's really not much to join yet. I've only just started rebuilding the order. I need someone out in the field taking the fight to the damn vampires, while we're getting the fort back into shape. Tolan was telling me about some cave the Vigilants were poking around in. Seemed to think it was related to these recent vampire attacks. Tolan, tell her about, what was it? Dim Hollow. Yes, that's it. Dim Hollow Crypt. Brother Adelwald was sure it held some long-lost vampire artifact of some kind. We didn't listen to him any more than we did Isran. He was at the hall when it was attacked. That's good enough for me. Go see what the vampires were looking for in this dim hollow crypt. With any luck, they'll still be there. Here, you should take a crossbow. Good for taking out those fiends before they get close. Feel free to poke around the fort and take what you need. There isn't much yet, but you're welcome to anything you can use. I'll meet you at Dim Hollow. It's the least I can do to avenge my fallen comrades. Dolan, I don't think that's a good idea. You vigilance would never dream. I know what you think of us. You think we're soft, that we're cowards. You think our deaths proved our weakness. Stendar granted you do not have to face the same test and be found wanting. I'm going to Dim Hollow Crypt. Perhaps I can be of some small assistance to you. You there, boy. Stop skulking in the shadows and step up here. What's your name? <coughs> I I'm, uh... My name is Agmir, sir. Do I look like a sir to you, boy? I'm not a soldier. And you're not joining the army. Yes, sir. E Isran. Didn't I tell you to step forward? Hm. Farm boy, huh? What's your weapon? My weapon? I mostly just use my paw's axe when wolves are attacking the goats or something. My paw's axe. <laughs> Stand up, preserve us. Don't worry. I think we can make a dawn guard out of you. Here, take this crossbow. Let's see how you shoot. A uh, crossbow? I've yes, never. Yes, a crossbow. Be Never know when to give up. I thought we'd taught them enough of a lesson of their hall. To come in here alone, a fool like a.
one there.
someone there. I heard I'll never tell you anything, vampire. My oath to Stendar is stronger than any suffering you can inflict on me. I believe you, Richard. And I don't think you even know what you found here. So you your Are you sure that was right. wise, Lokio? You still might have told us something. Aha! Now. sent you here. I was expecting someone like me, at least. Uh, can't you tell just from looking at me? A vampire. That's complicated. And I'm not totally sure if I can trust you. But if you want to know the whole story, help me get back to my family's home. My family used to live on an island to the west of Solitude. I would guess they still do. By the way, my name is Serana. 
Good to meet you. Your guess is as good as mine. This place looks pretty different from when I was locked away. Yes, it is. And it's mine. It's... complicated. I can't really talk about it. I'm sorry. Good question. Hard to say. I... I can't really tell. I feel like it was a long time. Who is Skyrim's High King? Oh, wonderful. A war of succession. Good to know the world didn't get boring while I was gone. Who are the contenders? Empire? What... what empire? Cyrodiil is the seat of an empire? I must have been gone longer than I thought. Definitely longer than we planned. Please, let's hurry. I need to get home so I can figure out what's happened. I'd... rather not get into that with you. If that's alright. I'm sorry, it's not that... It's just that I don't know who I can trust yet. Let's get to my home, and I'll have a better sense of where we all stand. It's on an island near Solitude. Hopefully we can find a boat to take us there. It's my family home. Not the most welcoming place, but depending on who's around, I'll be safe there. Let's just say that my mother and father had a bit of a falling out. Don't worry, I'm not in any danger or anything like that. It'll just be more unpleasant to run into my father. I'll never tell you anything, vampire. My oath to Stendar is stronger than any suffering you can inflict on something else. I've never seen anything quite like that. Now your blood is mine. <laughs> your back.
Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. I'll head back home if you need me. sent you here. I was expecting someone like me, at least. Uh, can't you tell just from look? Not fond of vampires, are they? Well, look. Kill me, you've killed one vampire. But if people are after me, there's something bigger going on. I can help you find out what that is. My family used to live on an island to the... By the way, my name is Serana. Good to meet you.
good to breathe again. Even in this weather, it's better than the cave. So, before we go in there... I wanted to thank you for getting me this far. But after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. I think. I know your friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. Lady Serrano's back! Open the gate! I watched the game. Ain't much else to tell.
How dare you trespass here? Wait, Serana? Is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. My lord, everyone! Serana has returned! I guess I'm expected. I can't believe it! My long-lost daughter returns at last. I trust you have my Elder Scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. Of course, she I'm has delighted the scroll. to see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words aloud? Ah, if only your traitor mother were here. I would let her watch this reunion before putting her head on a spike. Now tell me, who is this stranger you have brought into our hall? This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? I am Harkon, Lord of this court. By now, my daughter will have told you what we are. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. For centuries we lived here, far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. I was about to suggest that very thing. Yes, you must certainly deserve a reward. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach and you will never fear death again. Yes, I can smell it on you. The power of my blood will purge that filth and make you whole again. I will banish you from this castle. I will spare your life this once, but after that, you are prey. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! That I offer. Now, make your choice. So be it. You are prey, like all mortals. I banish you.
should have known it was only a matter of time before they found us. It's the price we pay for openly recruiting. We'll have to step up our defenses. I don't suppose you have some good news for me. Damn. Well, what do you know? A woman? Trapped in there? That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? More importantly, where is she? I'm waiting to hear what any of this means. They what? And you didn't stop them? You didn't secure the scroll. So they have everything they wanted, and we're left with nothing. By the Divines. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. When did I say that? We just need... We need help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here. There are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them, we might have a chance. Right to the point, aren't you? I like that. Not like those fools in the Order. We should keep it small. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. Breton girl, whip smart and good with tinkering. Fascination with the Dwemer. Weapons in particular. Last I knew, she was out in their reach. Convinced she was about to find the biggest dwarven ruins yet. Might need a little convincing, but she should. You'll also want to find Gunmar. Big brute of a Nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. Trolls in particular, from what I hear. Last I knew he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to tame. Bring the two of them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. Keep your eyes open.
Dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I'd swear I left it right here. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. Well, just look around, will you? Isran? Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me... Yes, that was my point. I felt it was rather clear. Look, what is it you want from me? Vampires? Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? I... Well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact Dwarven Gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another Gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? Fine, fine. I can't afford to forget about this work, though. Some very interesting applications. Now, where is it I'm supposed to be going? Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Farewell. Hold fast! I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Ethron needing someone else's help. Never thought I'd hear that. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? Vampires. That... Well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. By the eight. All right, look. I'll consider it. But I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me.
Run off, I suppose. We need to stop this creature before it kills again. Helped me, so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Of course he did. He's been working on that place for years now. Never lets anyone in. His own little fortress. Well, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there.
All right, Isran. You've got us all here. Now, what do you want? Hold it right there. What are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. So, welcome to Fort Dawnguard. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat with it, shall we? Hope you're getting along with Isran. It takes some getting used to. this one day. I knew, and no one believed. Serene needs help with her project to improve our crossbows. And if that doesn't interest you, speak with Gunma. He has something for you. Stay alert. This vampire showed up while you were away. I'm guessing it's the one you found in Dim Hollow Crypt. Says it's got something really important to say to you. So let's hear it. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen before your friend here loses his patience. It's... Well, it's about me, and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. The reason I had it, and why I was down there. It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. It's pointless and vague, like all prophecies. The part he latched onto said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. That's what he's after. He wants to control the sun. Have vampires control the world. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with the scroll. I'm sorry. I had heard there were vampire hunters here. I thought they might want to know about a vampire plot to enslave the rest of the world. Was I wrong? Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. All right, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me, is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Why? Because of that story about the prophecy about some vampire trying to put the sun out? Do you actually believe any of that?
Who knows? Maybe it has a death wish. Maybe it's just insane. I don't really care. It can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it. You hear me? Don't feel like a guest, because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But, of course, neither of us can read it. Well, the Moth Priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away. In Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your Moth Priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No, and I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind. And I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Well, back before I... You know... The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. I mean, as much as anyone. Not a lot. You'd figure a couple hundred years locked away with one would have given me some insight. But no. Turns out you don't learn much from just sleeping with something. Not at this rate, no. That's... a long story. I guess... we kind of have to go way back, to the very beginning. Do you know where vampirism came from? Exactly. The first vampire came from Molik Ball. She... was not a willing subject, but she was still the first. Molig Ball is a powerful Daedric Lord, and his will is made reality. For those willing to subjugate themselves, he will still bestow the gift, but they must be powerful in their own right before earning his trust. The ceremony was... degrading. Let's not revisit that. But we all took part in it. Not really wholesome family activity, but... I guess it's something you do when you give yourselves to a Daedric Lord. Well, you've met most of us. My father's not exactly the most stable, and eventually he drove my mother crazy with him. And it all ended with me being locked underground for who knows how long. It's definitely been a bad thing, on the whole. A cure? Why even think of it that way? I can't think of any reason I'd want to lose this gift. Especially after what I did to get it. It may have driven my family apart, but I'm still here. And I'm alive. I won't give this up. Do you need something?
Need a ride? I can take you to any of the whole... One of them Imperial scholars, right? Old man with a gray robe. Might be that I have, but I can't say for sure. I got enough troubles on my mind just trying to scrape by out here. Now that I think on it, I did see your priest. They tried to hire me for a trip to Dragonbridge, but I told them that ain't one of my stops. I'm hoping to run my own inn someday. Somebody help! I knew I heard something. I know who you are, and I know your business. Working hard gives a man reason for drinking. Nah, I don't think so. All right, then. What is it? Something different about you, I can tell. Hope you ain't here to cause trouble. Have you seen that Shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Until next time. Mind you don't cross Tassius. He's in charge around here. Citizen? Have you met my husband? Well, don't bother. Nah. I don't think so.
All right, then. Seen some mean-spirited... A moth priest? I'm sorry, but I don't know anything about that. Try asking one of the guards. All right, then. My cousin's out fighting dragons, and what do I get? Guard duty. Imperial. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandit raid. The Imperials think us all lawless beasts. I'm proof of their ignorance. Make yourself useful and chop up some firewood. Working hard gives... Nah, I don't think so. Until next time. Mind you don't cross Tassius. He's in charge around here. Fate is something different about you, I can tell. Hope you ain't here to cause trouble. The meals I serve ain't what I'd call a yard. Of course. It's all in this note. Yeah, mm hmm Are you a soldier? One day, I'm going to be a soldier. You need to leave. If you're looking for a room, you want a moth priest. I'm sorry, I don't know anything about that. Try asking one of the guards. Good day. Let's move faster. For a Psst. hey, I know who you are. Hail Sithis. you need everything's all right I used to no matter what else happens the guards will always be grateful for everything. Pa says I'm too young to fight in the war by patrolling the town.
Got to keep my eyes open. Damn dragons could swoop down at any... I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandit trade. Are you a soldier? One day, I'm going to be a soldier. Hmm?
Dexian Evacus is my name. I'm a moth priest of the White Gold Tower. These vampires claimed they had some purpose in store for me, but they wouldn't say what. Probably hoping to ransom me, the fools. You do? All right then. Enough mysteries. You have an Elder Scroll? Remarkable. If my knowledge of history serves me, I recall that the Dawn Guard was an ancient order of vampire hunters. I will be happy to assist you with your Elder Scroll. Just tell me where I need to go. Very well. I'll hurry on my way there before more of those vampires turn up.
impressed you could find a moth priest so quickly. For the reading? Yeah. Just let the old man know when you're ready. What can I do for you? Ah, my rescuer. It's good to see you again. It's not exactly the hospitality I'm used to, but your man Isran has seen to my needs well enough. And might I add, this is a remarkable fortress. I have colleagues back home that would love to study this place in detail. Oh, most certainly. Let's find out what secrets the scroll can tell. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me, an image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the night's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. I must rest now. The reading has made me weary. Come on, old man. You should get some rest. Do you have a moment to talk? Do you have a moment to talk? That moth priest, Dexian. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. the people in your little crew would just as soon kill me as talk to me. That doesn't exactly make me want to open up. I got a warmer welcome from my father, and that's saying something. Ever since he decided to make that prophecy his calling, we kind of drifted apart. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. Maybe. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? I don't think so. She said she wanted to stay awake in case the situation was resolved. It had to be one of us, and, well, she's so much more powerful than I am. It just made sense for her to be out here. Anything else? Wait. That almost makes sense. There's a courtyard in the castle. I used to help pretend a garden there. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too... peaceful. Oh, absolutely. But my mother's not a coward. That is, I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. True. But I know a way we can get to the courtyard without arousing suspicion. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. 
An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. It's around the side of the castle. Let's move. <laughs> 